Hi, it's uh, Jason with RPC Electronics LLC. And uh, every now and then I'll have a project that uh, I'm, I'm interested in, not, to, not necessarily something I'm developing as a product for, the, for RPC, but just something I'm kind of interested in. One of those is this project, which is a pick based uh, GPS display. And um, essentially, we're just feeding in a 4800 baud uh, NMEA serial data. It's being parsed by a PIC and it's being displayed to an LCD. And when I originally prototyped this all on the breadboard, it was kind of a mess. A lot more wires and whatnot that you see here now. Um, I took a few of our own products that we currently sell and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Um, for starters, the uh, RS-232 patcher board that we sell is essentially a DB9 male and female, one on each end. One row of pads is connected to one and the other row is connected to the other. And essentially you can solder in jumpers to uh, make the, configure this in any way that you may need. Um, this is pretty straightforward here. Pins two and two are tied. Three and three are tied. That's transmit and receive serial lines. Five and five are tied, which is ground. And on the GPS side, this connector, I'm injecting five volts on pin four to power the GPS. And that's uh, that five volts is coming back off of the breadboard itself. That serial data is RS-232, and it's being fed into our RS-232 TTL adapter which uh, takes RS-232 and converts it to TTL voltage levels, 5 volt TTL voltage levels, as an onboard ST202 to take care of that. And then, of course, we're feeding that TTL data over to our PIC uh, development module, which is the uh, PIC 18F252. And on this module, you have the PIC, a 5 volt regulator, which is uh, basically a 7805 variant, filter and caps for the power supply, and a 20 megahertz crystal resonator uh, on all on board on this module. And then the LCD is tied to that module as well, which is controlling it. And currently we're receiving live data, so you can see that the UTC clock is, is counting up. We're not moving, so we don't have any speed or heading data at this particular time. But you can see that the position is, is varying slightly in the seconds every now and then. You'll see it change. So we're getting live data. Um, all this, all the code here I wrote in uh, microchip C18. A lot of thanks to the guys at the microchip uh, message board for helping me out. I'm learning C as I go. Um, I'm more of a hardware guy. I'm not really as much of a software guy, but I am learning as I go. But anyways, uh, this this project is is again. This is one of those projects that I just decided something I wanted to work on. Uh, it may not necessarily become a product, but it might also. If it does become a product, I'll probably make the uh, source code available uh, pu publicly online for anyone that would would like to use it. Um, and obviously, we'd make the hardware available. So, anyway, so it's just a quick uh, quick glimpse uh, at this this little project that, that I've been working on for a while now. All right, thanks a lot.